Hello, this is Hachiri, and we are back in FTB Interactions. Now, we've been going through sorting through things, um, fixing various systems, taking a look at various things. One thing I'm going to point out that we started doing is we set up a tank. And I'm a little worried because it looks like this tank is full. Ooh. Alright, so it's all it's it stopped and uh, it nearly filled up on us. Um but that's good. That's good. So we got that big tank of oil. Um and we're going to be kind of looking into getting some oil processing done. We're also going to kind of look into getting some other progression done. <clears throat> we need to get our Batania stuff moved and going in a more reliable fashion. We need to get all of our machines moved and going. And, um, and I need to get that oil processing going. And the other thing is getting the Satane stuff done. So the Satane boosted diesel. I'm just going to go full screen for a second here. Just so I can uh, click on this. But the Satane boosted diesel. I'm going to actually test bar settings, hide. Cool. Oh, hey, look, I can actually see what I'm typing now. So the Cite boosted diesel um, can be either diesel or biodiesel. We already got biodiesel. And we're probably going to do both of this. The biodiesel produces less, but um, we're probably going to end up doing both of this and combining them into a single Cite boosted diesel setup. <clears throat> And uh, what we need is this, which is ethanone and nitric acid. Now, nitric acid isn't that hard to make. It's water and nitrogen dioxide or ammonia and oxygen. But we have one teeny bitty little problem involving that. Um, and that problem being that our ethanol system is basically taking all of the oxygen like literally all of the oxygen it's gone we've gone through 8 million oxygen since I started this setup and it's continuous it's going to be continuous until these uh, tanks over here are full and um, yeah the other thing is we're out of chlorine, which is another another issue that we gotta deal with. So, so looking at those two, um, we're gonna be kind of expanding our system to produce what we need. And I'm not quite sure how I want to go about doing this. This is pretty much nearly full. The chlorine's what's got me going, eh. Because I have a system producing it in the fuel section. But, um, yeah. So we're going to deal with one problem at a time, I suppose, with this and uh, go from there. Now, right now, over here, I believe this is vinyl chloride. Let's check. No, that's hydrochloric acid. Where are you? I uh, don't know what you are. This is the polyvinyl chloride. Uh, it's the tetrafluorine. So, this is probably the vinyl chloride one right here. And it's pretty much empty as well. Um, so, we have no buildup at all. And the more I think about it, the more I question if we really need buildup. <clears throat> we probably should have just uh, gone with something lesser. But anyway, 
um, either way, we, we are going to need to expand this. We're going to need to add at least two or three more of these air setups. And um, the main reason for that is this thing, we're basically waiting on liquid air. Otherwise, it would be processing constantly. So since that is the slow point it's not this this is always producing it it's it's never running out so this is always producing enough so really the problem is is well we we, we need more of these i have this on hv so it's already producing at a faster rate than the mv would simply because it has more power and um yeah it's still not fast enough to keep up so we're going to go ahead and spend this episode kind of expanding this the other thing we're going to expand is our chlorine production now the chlorine production we have a single uh, s small setup over here um, and I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna kind of build upon this because like yeah it's it's just take in time it basically takes about a minute or so per cycle which Which is just too long. It's too long. So, because of that, we're not producing enough chlorine. Um, and we're going to have to deal with that fact. And we're going to deal with it by making more. But first, before we even do that, we got to deal with the air thing and we got to get the cetane. And I figure we'll go ahead and also work on getting the start of the, um, the infused. Because I think if we go all the way to infused, we'll actually have enough powered fuel regardless of where we go. And... The main thing on the infused is the lithium. We're going to work on a setup on that as well. <clears throat> so first is going to be getting to cetane. And like I said, we need nitric acid. So we're going to have to build a chemical thing for that. And to do that, we need more air. So... So let's take a look at that. Alternately, since this setup technically is infinite, we can switch the oxygen away, just take it out, and um, start using air uh, for these. And if we do that, that might be easier. That might actually be hella easier. <laughs> I mean, we want to run out of sulfuric acid before we run out of anything else, so... And every cycle of this, it's like generating a, a ton, but I don't know why this is only getting, yeah, there's like a full tank right here. And... This is always empty. Mm -hmm. 
we may be dealing with a bug with the system. Um, this may be that issue I, I was dealing with earlier where it's just not, uh, where it's just voiding everything. Let's uh, take these out temporarily. Let's see if this starts filling up. Alright, we should be getting roughly 11 buckets in here. We got 10. Plus what's in here. Alright. Alright. Yeah, let's get an air collector made and uh, have it link to a node and then we'll just uh, feed air into this and we'll empty these and use just air. Let's do that because uh, We're blowing through way too much oxygen. I know, it sounds crazy to say we're blowing through too much oxygen. I mean, we alternately, I guess we could just do what I was saying and um, build the other setups. But even then, even if we're going through and making like, instead of a pause, it's just constant. This is making four buckets a cycle, so. All right. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll just bite the bullet and actually do it the other way. We'll do it the other way. This goes through way too quick. So, five freezers is what we're going to be making. Five. Count them. Five. And we're going to go all the way across. We're just going to make a line. And we're going to feed it all into this one centrifuge. Because, <laughs> uh, let me see here. Let's see. Right now, liquid air. All right, so it takes the vacuum freezer 20 seconds to create four buckets of liquid air. All right. And it takes the centrifuge roughly 80 seconds. The centrifuge. Um, and since we're using an HV centrifuge, let's just assume that it's going to take about, eh, Let's assume it's going to take about half this time because I don't think it goes beyond cutting the time in half. So it's going to take 40 seconds. So it takes 53. So we need to make 53 in 40 seconds. So let's see. So yeah, if we added five more, that'd be six times four. 
So that's 24 every 20 seconds. That's still not enough. Um, I mean, it's a better delay, but it's still a slight delay. I think we're going to need... Uh, I think we're going to need to make six more. We're going to need seven of these. 28 times two would be an overage of three buckets. But it would make it to where this is constantly running. So we're going to need six of these. All right, so if we're making six of those, I need 18 of these. Which, looking at this, we're going to need about 2.6 buckets, 2.592 of this which we do have so the rest of it is really just uh, making this so let's uh, get to making alloys I guess we have just enough Teflon to make what we need just enough Just enough. Um, let's see. I need soldering alloy. That's not liquefied. Um, oh, I have ten of these alloys still. So maybe... I should do this instead. I mean, yeah, we're going to need those alloys for other things, but uh, if we already got 10 of them. I waste. Mm, we'll use the other macerator. It is really laggy today. Alright, so this one requires rubber, so we'll grab some rubber real quick. And, uh, um, it is an assembler. Alright. All right, so while that's making that, let's get the aluminum or chrome foil done. So we need two chrome plates. I'm gonna check and see if I just have some chrome plates laying around. Uh, da, 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 no. So grab a couple of chrome dust. Is this a blast furnace thing? Yes. Mm. 
All right, there is our foil. Get that circuit back in there. And then this is nearly done. Guess the next thing on our list will be to Get another tank. That's rocket fuel, so I don't want that. But we need to get Teflon. Alright, I guess I'll do that after this is done so I can pull the rubber out and put it away. Another thing that I want to get built is I want to get two mechanical users. And that's going to be for another automation setup that we're going to do later. Um, each one of these will require some robot arms. We're going to need a couple of those. Um, looking at that and what I have here. I think what do I have in here for ply vinyl? I only got 59 of those made, but I can make a whole bunch of them real quick. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab a bunch of the polyvinyl chloride, just grab a full tank of it, process it into plates. And then we'll put the excess, uh, it's polyethylene, polyvinyl. All right, so we got a whole bucket now, polyvinyl. Still got a thousand buckets in there, cool. I still might switch that to air instead of oxygen. Because we're going to need a lot of oxygen for the fuel system, and that's something we can't afford. So we're going to see how this system works, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, um, we will uh, cross that bridge. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There it is. Plates. Polyvinyl. And this is done, so I'm going to slap this in here, grab this, put our foil in here, and we're going to go and grab our Teflon real quick. I should actually have way more than this. I think it's like a bucket more, but we were testing that system earlier. And the fact that it's just voiding stuff left and right. Only with this one. That's what I don't get, is it only voids that one. Like if I was to go in here 
we saw that the the uh, 11 buckets went in there. But for some reason, with the, the Teflon, it just outright voids it. And I do not know why. I just don't know why. Um, it's not... Yeah, it's empty. It's not in there. It's not so it's not crossing it with this. It's just gone. And uh it makes zero sense. Makes absolute zero sense. But it's the nature of the beast. So we're going to put the Teflon in here, grab that stack from this. I think what we're going to do is uh, after we process these into uh, plates and get a bunch of them, we're going to go ahead and uh, focus on getting the uh, circuits made next because we pretty much went through all of our circuits last time went through every bit of our circuits just uh, making the initial auto polyethylene polyvinyl chloride setup And I feel kind of eh about taking it off the oxygen, but at the same time, we're going to go through a lot of materials to build this setup. It may be necessary, though. It may be necessary. Oh, I was running out of power. Does this take two chrome per? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's get a couple more chrome going. We'll get a couple more going, get all this done. And uh, while I'm at it, where did I put all that aluminum? So we're going to need, so two pistons, um, and then, uh, does that require two rods? Yeah, it does. So, 12. I may need to make more motors too, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge. Um, get that into plates, you into rods. Make our foil. Right. I need to go and get a setup to automate all of the various parts at some point. I mean, we technically have the relevant pieces to do so it's just a matter of getting it done at this point i'm 
trying to remember. Envy is copper. Alright. Alright, so there's our pistons. We'll stick that right there. And that needs to be circuits. So we need two of the MV circuits. Um, is that the right one? Looks like it. All right. So we got that. We have our stone burnt. We need the MV machine casings. And this is actually why I have stopped turning them immediately into holes. And we need this. So I need to make one more of these. All right, well, we got the first one. We'll get the second one going in a little bit. Uh, what this mechanical user is going to be for is for a tank of starlight that we're going to make in the oil section. And uh, we'll cover that here in a little bit. Um, we're going to be doing some a bunch of automation, and we're going to need two mechanical users for this. Now, but we'll cover that. It may not be in this episode. It may be in the next one that we cover that. Um, so I need a bunch of integrated circuits. And uh, let's see, the vacuum freezer. Come on, taskbar, go away. Oh, actually, vacuum freezer doesn't require integrated circuits at all. So we're in luck. All right. All right. So the only thing that we're going to need integrated circuits for would be the air collector. And what I'm curious on is uh, the LV keeps up one and probably could do two pretty easily. I'm wondering what the HV can do. Because if the HV can power all of these with air, produce enough air for all of them, then we'll be golden. And that's what I'm curious on. Let me see. How much? I have this, which may be enough. Or this does 400 MB a tick. Might not be enough. And this does 1,600 MB a tick, which might be enough. So we may make more elite mechanical pipes, which is going to require making more of the alloys, um, which we got to do anyway. We were discussing that. Um, let's see. What's the highest? pipe I can do in terms of this because I don't think temperature is an issue 400 MB polyethylene pipe is up there and it has a nice max temperature too like, I'm not sure why that has a uh, max temperature, but uh, I don't think. Yeah, it just says it's too light to handle. It doesn't have a temperature warning. We might actually use polyethylene pipes for this. For the transfer it would be an interesting uh 
use case, if nothing else. Just have the, the motor and the air collector on the bottom and then have the whole thing go on, go out across. That would be interesting. Um, that's tempting. That's very tempting. And I wouldn't need to set up pumps because it's going to push it out regardless. Same with the uh, attaching it going to. Um, Only thing is, the one thing might need an insert, but maybe not. Maybe not. All right. Um, so we need. Let's see, I believe it was always eight frames I did. Because I needed 21 per machine. So. And I think I got three right there, yeah. All right. All right, so let's uh, let's get to making some frames. Um, Eighteen, and then I need. Five for every two. So now I want to be forty five. It'd be three ingots. Now it would be five ingots for every six. Three times five, fifteen. Math. All right, so I'll make that, and then I'll make the uh, multiple sets of frames, and we need six for every frame. <sighs> I think I'm going to need to see how many frames we have before I do the next set. Never mind. That is busy. Might need to make a new uh, wrench here soon. All right. 
frostproof machine casing. Or just throwing it in there. All right. That's probably what I'll do. Twenty four times six. So we're just going to make them all. Um, Hundred forty four, so. Make all the plates. And while all the plates are being made, we're going to go ahead and get some stuff going to make the uh, circuits anyway, because we're going to need some circuits. I'm um, going to pull this out. I'm going to save half. Throw that right there. Is this my soldering ally? Good. We're just going to get some circuits going. Um, just throw this in here. There will be leftovers and that is fine. I believe red alloy wire is all that's left. Do I have any in here? No. None there. None up there. Oh, wait. Nope, none up there. Uh, yada, yada, yada. None there. None right there. And none there. Finished, you are done. Pull you out so you can make the next set. All right, so as we're getting this stuff done, let's take a look and see what else am I running low on. Uh, I know I'm going to need. Um, power supplies for all of this. So we'll probably focus on that here soon. I mean, I got power supplies, but we'll probably focus on getting the uh, different parts done. Okay, that is complete. And cool. So we have all of our plates for now. And we'll do different stuff with this. We'll um, turn it into foil and various other things circuit boards uh the main thing i use it for is actually circuit boards because for each one of these i'll get two boards so So that's put away. Um, I am actually very tempted to add a junction here. Just so I can turn this off.
as well. Oh, look at that, all the sulfur is done. I'm starting to wonder though, even though we have that setup done and we have it all built, I'm kind of wondering if I do want to break it up and turn it into more of a on-demand setup, like have a tank somewhere or something that we're feeding into other than those big giant tanks and make it to where it only creates it if the tank is less than X percent or something like that. Because... Um, I'm really starting to wonder. If I am going the right route for this. Infinite's nice, but with this, with us being limited on sulfur. Now, once we get the oil processing going, I don't think we're going to be as limited on sulfur. We'll be limited on hydrogen. But I may actually come up with something for that. And that's something I've been uh, also considering. is because we're going to be connecting to this. I'm going to be using hydrogen. So I'm going to be electrolyzing water. But I don't need um, the oxygen. So the oxygen will be feeding back into the system constantly um, so maybe that's how I should deal with the oxygen issue is get the electrolyzer set up and have it uh, pushing everything directly into the uh, oxygen and uh, hydrogen tanks. Let's see. Seventy-five seconds. But how long does it take for an HV one? Let's find out.
It's all electrum wire. Okay. How many of these? I have two. I do have enough to test this, so let's go ahead and test this. It might be crazy, it might be a waste. Basic electron wire. Okay. Let's see, because if this can produce it at a high rate, we may be okay. chip on me. Cool. And actually before I before I put that chip in there Get those going. All right, and uh, pull the Teflon out of here, plop you right there. And this has been playing FTP interactions with the world's most monotone streamer. Yes, as you can see, we are slowly clicking through everything. I need to liven up a little bit. I know. This stuff is kind of boring right now, though. It's uh, a lot of repetition. A lot of repetition. So, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. We're going to figure out our oxygen problem one way or another. I'm going to die of old age before you finish. It's my electrum wire and I want it now. You craft like circuits and stuff. Now, I think normally we would actually get a quest complete for this, but I think because this is the first electrolyzer. Oh, no, I do have a basic electrolyzer here. Um, all right, so it just goes from the MV to the EV. It just skips straight to EV. All right, that's fine. I can dig it. I'm okay with this. So we are going to where 
Where am I going to connect you? I don't think I want to connect you there. Oh, I need to make an aqueous accumulator too, don't I? Unless I have one in storage somewhere. Let me check. Um, well, there is obviously none there. Let's see about over here. Stilling casings, that's good. All right, so we don't have another aqueous accumulator. So maybe I should think about something different. I mean, I have the one over here that I can rip out of this system. Which is fine. I mean... We can totally like abuse this one, um, and I may do that. Yeah, let's let's abuse that, and um, I'll just. Uh, Create a GPS marker for this temporarily. Since this is not a permanent thing, it is only for a test. I need a block. Cool. And then. Loop. Rarely get this started just so I can see how quickly it produces oxygen and hydrogen. All right, I'm going to put it right there. It should already be producing, but we're going to go ahead and take a look. Just see what the rate is per cycle. Alright, so we want this button enabled, obviously. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be... I guess it is doing it four times as fast. With the overclock. God, doing this on an LV would be murder. I mean, look at that.
All right, so it's producing a bucket of oxygen in nine seconds. Um, the other way is going to be better. Because we're getting 11 buckets in a cycle of a few seconds, so the other one's going to be better. And the more I think about this in the setup, the more I think because air is an option and it is an infinite setup, we may want to consider increasing it um, or switching it to air instead. Or we can see if this keeps up with it. This may keep up with it. We may be fine. So next, um, did I pull out all the stone? I did. So we now know that uh, that's not going to work. Um, and uh, I'm going to go and quickly pull out the node. Now that we know. I kind of wonder if I set all of this up to HV, if it will um, process faster. Just build HV machines for all of this. And take this out. That may be what we need to do. Thing is, is will this keep up? We may have to increase the power on this, which will require us, because um, I can do up to 1K on that. So with that, we may need to upgrade our our power going in. Hmm. Although something I was curious with is I wonder if you can right click. Like you can increase your spectre chamber with ectoplasm. Can you increase this with ectoplasm? Or do you just need to make more of them? Uh, yeah, apparently you just need to make more of them. Let me see. I'll play around with that here in a little bit. Do a little research. And we'll, uh, get this done. Alright, so let's, uh, make some blocks to set up a floor for... All of our oxygen machines, uh, we will need to make some room in our inventory for this as well. And we will need to get our other machines made, which means pumps, glorious pumps. So... Um. 
And now to get pumps made. Um. <laughs> It's a cycle that never ends. It just keeps going and going. All right, so we're going to need, see, six times three. We're going to need 18 pumps. Um, Eighteen pumps. Now, normally, I wouldn't bother with the steel uh, doing it this way, but I think we're going to do it this way. Just because I think it's going to be faster in the long run. So we have 18 motors. Um, we actually have all the rings in another machine over there. So I'll get those over there. Um, in my bag, didn't I have a whole bunch of... I have exactly 18. Oh my god. Alright. And then we're going to need 18 gold wire. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 18 gold wire, and then the 36 rings, and then the steel that we need to liquefy. And, um, was it 648? I'm pretty sure that's four and a half. I'm pretty sure that's four and a half. Uh, yeah. All right. So four and a half ingots. So every two. Or four and a half ingots. So every nine ingots is two pumps. We're making eighteen pumps. So. Eighty-one. We gotta liquefy eighty-one. So bloop, bloop, bloop. There is our rings, our rubber rings, and now we just need 81 steel. Liquefied. Actually, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to have that feed directly into the uh, machine. And we're going to get this going automatically and then walk away for a minute. So as that's melting, it'll go into here and then we'll just produce pumps. All right, so that's producing the pumps. We've got that going. Um, another thing we're going to have to get going is a farm. So we need to look into that as well. Actually, no. Let's let's look into like we're getting these pumps going, but let's look into the other parts that we need. Let's make a whole bunch of casings. Uh, yeah, we'll start with 16. Actually, no, I'm going to need way more than 16. Um, Do, 
do, do, do, do. All right. Um, actually, let's pull these two out and this, because that's all stuff that doesn't need to be in this bag. And uh, I'll stick the olives in there, because I don't need that on me. All right. And uh, let's grab uh, at least two more stacks. Going through, well, that's five stacks. I only need five stacks. I only need two more. Because as per the laws of Greg Tech, if you need anything, make it in bulk. Wow, this is amazing. You you've made a whole two pumps out of eighteen. Ah that's four X cable. I know what's wrong. Let's uh, increase the power up a little bit, shall we? All right. Are you happy power-wise now? All right, everyone's happy now. Um, how are you doing? You've made my circuits. Thank you. Um, I should be able to make the, uh, the assembly things in there actually. The only thing I need is some RAM and um, these other weird things, uh, the small coils. So a fine copper wire and a steel bolt. Let's see.
So we got that making some of those parts. Now this is still cutting things. This is still lathing things. Oh, it's done the last one now. Cool. should get this thing started. Ram caps. Oh. Herp. So I'll make us some more processor assembly so we can continue doing stuff. Um, are you done? You are at eight. You are at eight. You are still making stuff as well. Got that one doing that. This one appears to be done for now. What chipset are you? You are chipset eight. Let's pull you out temporarily. And uh, start throwing these plates in here. So this will hopefully be enough to get us started on making these. Gold wire, gold wire. Do I have at least 32 gold wire? I have 15 there. Oh, yeah, hey, here we go. Running low, gonna have to make a bunch. But there it is. There's our inputs. That's out of the way. Um, let's see. Six times four. So I'm going to actually need to make another 24 of these. We need more stuff. Processing. How are we in here? You are pretty much done. Do I have any cable in there? Nope. So then 
Let's put the Teflon away. Uh, is this one the Teflon? Yep. And then we'll grab some rubber. What are we out of? Oh. Alright, so it's going through four diodes per as well. So I'll put that in there and we'll put the RAM in there. Let that finish those out. Alright, um Branch is almost dead. Let's get these last casings made. Probably get a new wrench made too. Wow, wrench survived. Not much longer though. in case the worst occurs. This is done just like that. All right. Um, I want you in there, you in there. We're going to lock you. Um, I should make a cache for a fine red wire. I haven't thought about doing that yet. And uh, go ahead and take this out. I don't know if I see there. That gives me 60 more to work with. And this gives me the cable I need to finish this. Six times four is 24. Let's see how many more we're missing. 18, we need six more holes to finish getting all of the stuff built. We're also gonna need a whole bunch of uh, chests too. 
Yeah, that's no bueno. Um, all right. I know the first pass of that's just going to give a bunch of uh, logs, but it gets us six times the amount. So we'll go with that. Uh, let's see. I need two per 12. That's just barely enough. Sweet. Plates. Doop, doop, doop. that there's our casings there's our input buses there's our output buses Hatches, output hatches. There's those parts. So with that, we now actually have enough to make our various things. So let's get all these put away in here for right now. And we will move on to the next step, which is going to be making the air collector. Because if just the base one can handle two, surely this would be able to handle six. So we're going to need two pumps. <laughs> oh, that makes me cry. Uh, well, I got one pump right here. Do I have a uh, blade? Um... No, no, I don't. Um, all right. Well, we already know it's going to be nine. So let's get this started then. I got the wire on me. I'll need two motors and four rings. So, two motors, four rings. Oh. We got to make the pipes too. All right, 
let's uh, just throw this stuff in here and then I'll make the two stainless pipes and we'll have our pumps Four stacks of stainless steel, and we only got uh, two left over. That that makes me cringe just just a little bit. <laughs> makes me cringe a little bit seeing that. That tells me right there that's just like another thing that uh, we're gonna need in bulk at some point, automated with some sort of an inventory control. because we go through so much of it now I have a pump on me in the bag so I'm gonna basically wait for this first one to get done and then we'll we'll move on um, let's see this I should have in storage this I have on me that's there a steel plate zinc foil all right so while that's doing that Let's get the other stuff going. Um, this should be zinc up here. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... this through again our pumps should hopefully be done at least one of them all right in here somewhere three really don't tell me don't tell me I only have three come on come on don't do me like that is that really all I got for real all right This is the grind that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. Some people just started working and not knowing what it was. And they just keep on building this shit all along. Cause it is the grind that never ends. I'm not losing my mind. I promise I'm not going insane playing this pad pack. <laughs> I promise I'm not. All right, there's our HV air collector. So really all we got to do now is decide on the piping. Like we need to see um, – we 
we basically need to see how fast per tick it does because I don't know if the hardened fluid ducks like Four hundred a tick. Oh, that's RF a tick. But it just says transfer fluid. It does let's see transfer rate varies by fluid. But it doesn't tell us what the base transfer rate is. So I'm really, really leaning hard towards making the polyethylene pipes. because of this because we got so much of it right now so I think that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna go ahead and attempt a polyethylene pipe setup which I may regret but we're gonna attempt it I know the fluid ducts are fine for dealing with the power it's the fluids I'm not sure on, but we'll we'll uh, we'll try it. I'm gonna take a moment though, and um, where did I put that ingot cast? The ingot cast is over here. And uh, once we get all of this sorted, that will hopefully fix our air problem. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it will fix the air problem. Uh, I'm hoping. Do, 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 do. All right. want the large just place that there temporarily put you in there grab you out put you in here all right so that gives us 32 we may need more that's why I'm not going to like melt this back down immediately. I'm just going to leave it there just so I can see. And one of the main things I want to see with this is I want to see how this reacts between the two machines. I want to see if it automatically pushes into the machine over here. If it does, then we're pretty much golden. But if it doesn't, we got a problem. All right, so let's see. Waiting. It did. It, it went ahead and just put it in there. Quite quickly, I might add. Um, good. So now the only thing we got left that we got to deal with is uh, the floor. And I need tech space. All right. Um, let's move the boomerang. Let's put you right here. Let's evaluate. Let's really think about how we're going to do this. And we will put some of the stuff away while we do that. project I had four holes in here I did not know about putting you away
we will deal with you momentarily, so I'll put you away for right now. Um, I don't really use a lightsaber. That will go away. Have I been using this? That will go away. This tank is empty, so I will put it over here. And actually, now that I think about this, I have that turned off. I should probably uh, get some fuel going. Is this still hydrogen? Oh, yes, yes it is. Get that converted. Get that converted. I'm pretty sure it was five is what converted it. Yep. Got a tank in here. Cool. All right, so that's right there. Um, So we're going to need another drum, so we're going to get that made. And then... Have enough room for blocks so let's get I think a quartz because we were using the laboratory blocks for the floor and do that do I have the chisel in here or did I put it away I might have put it away be the server latency again. So what I'm thinking I thought about just having it go straight and that's probably going to be the best way to deal with this
But at the same time, I mean, we want this to be as compact as possible. So... I don't know. I mean, I honestly just don't know. I just had a thought, though. If I have the fuel line coming from... No, let's... Well, yeah, if I have the fuel line coming from this and going across that way... That would allow me to make the various parts of this pretty easily. Let's see how that would look exactly. Like if I had these right here. I mean, I don't know if it'll keep it up, but. So say I have that right there. Yeah, we got this right here. This doesn't seem to be taking fluid, which is great. Um, where is it? But, uh, this is going to be a pickle to solve. Um, All right, so say I have my generator for this. Right here. And the air collector is right there. And uh, we got that going there. We have our polyethylene pipes here which will just go completely across and this is one thing I was interested in is to see how this would react and uh, yeah I will have to uh, do a divide like so so this goes completely across we're going to have to actually do this a down and around looking at this and having it go up where needed and what is going on We have a crash. All right, so uh, gonna go ahead and pause the recording, and uh, we'll be back soon as uh, soon as the uh, pack is loaded up again. All right, we're back for the recording, and uh, servers back up. We uh, ended up needing more frost casings, so we're getting those made right now, and we're gonna need more um, polyethylene pipes as well. So we're gonna get uh, those going too. It's 
might be enough. We'll see. We shall see. Actually, while I'm waiting on those parts, well, actually, looks like that's done already. Yeah. Cool. Um, just put this in here for now. Get it out of my way. I might have made too many plates, and that's fine. Alright, so... 54. Um, See, 15 times 6 is 90. <sighs> Need inventory space. Throw you in there. What else can I get rid of? Put you away for now. All of this just to fix an air problem, just to fix the oxygen production line. This is why we cannot have nice things. Alright, uh, there's no circuit in here, so it's safe to plop these in here. Hmm. Alright, so while that's making, well, uh, come over here. And I believe this is, that's the bus. All right, so. I think we're going to end up having to do the same. That's the hatch there. Cool. Thing all the way across. And, uh. Go like that. So we're still going to need more polyethylene. So we'll take another set. This should be the last set we need though. Manage my inventory better. Manage my inventory better. I'm living out of 600 chests. He's just wanting me to teleport over there and give him trouble. Eee. All right. All right, so once this is done, since these are all output, I mean, this will probably slowly fill up with 
the output error, but hopefully it all goes in there. Um, and taking a look at this, making sure everything is good, nothing is doing what it shouldn't be. Okay, except for that. almost there we're almost there all right there's our 54 Now let's uh, start building all of these and get her done. Breaking fuel system in three, two, uh, surprisingly keeping up. It's going as fast as it's p producing. And uh, why are you empty? These are all on occasionally. Idle, idle, that is an input hatch, input hatch, I guess it's filling all the other ones out before it fills this one. Alright. Now it's doing the last one here. I was thinking it might be able to keep up six of these, but I wasn't sure. But it looks like... I might have been right. Alright, so that one filled up. And this one is finally filling. 
and this tube is constantly shoving liquid air in here. So it's going at a much faster rate now. In fact, it's going almost immediately, almost immediately. We are looking at a one-to-one -one process rate almost. That is beautiful. Let's take a look if this is filling up yet. Uh, it's still going as fast as it's processing though. Are we building up? We're not even building up. We are not even building up. All right. It's probably not going to start building up until it fills this tank with polyethylene. That is seven, seven air setups going here, non-stop. Seven air setups going non-stop. And it's still not enough. Ah, well, that was our attempt. We have expanded our air system in this episode. Um, I think it'll build up eventually because this this isn't going to be forever. We're we're not building up on ethylene, um, and I mean we got plenty of ethylene here but as far as this goes we're not building up on it here so eventually the polyethylene is going to get full because it's not something that's going to be used all the time it's just going to take a little bit and uh, odds are we're going to run out of sulfuric acid before we run out of all the other stuff. Still, uh, we got this going. It is producing. It'll take a while to fill up. And I mean this, this is basically going constantly now. So my big concern is actually our fuel setup. How are we looking with the fuel burn rate? We're dropping. So we're actually dropping in fuel. This is not producing enough. I mean, it's producing, but we're now at a point that we're burning more fuel than we're producing. Let's see where we are on this. This is still cap, though. That's still cap, so that's a good sign. Um, 
We're dropping in seed oil too. So looking at that, we may want to consider turning off the extra air system. We may want to consider turning that off because um, given the fact that it's burning through fuel like it is. We may need to turn it off. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little junction here. And that's going to fill this tank, which is fine. And we're going to empty the fuel. We're just going to let the whole system run out. We're going to let it completely run out of fuel. Let it run out of power. And we're going to turn... Um, make it to where this system will only run when we need it. Because at this point... I need a little more control. We can't have it burning through all of it constantly. And then... This that should actually even it out almost because that takes four motors off, but um, we'll go ahead and turn this extra air system off too. Temporarily. Because we need to get the um, Cetane set up before we can continue more. So let's turn this off as well. Which is unfortunate. This was a good idea. We're just not quite up to where we need fuel-wise. We need to expand our fuel, which is crazy. It's crazy. We need to expand it. We are now outproducing our fuel. But that's also a good sign in a lot of ways. I mean, we got plenty of polyethylene such that we can turn this back on later and produce it as we need it and that will hopefully get this going Good, it's burning through the fuel now. Well, let's uh, just real quick. Take a look and see if just turning those off brings this back to a gain.
Not enough of one to count. So we'll turn that off as well. This stuff will eventually build up and then uh, we'll be good to go. So we're going to end the recording here. And uh, I'll probably continue streaming for a little bit longer and uh, look into things. But we're going to stop this recording. And uh, the next thing we're going to work on is go we're going to work on the Cetane and Infuse Boosted. Because um, at this point, it looks like we have no choice. We have to move up and get those others built and going. So... This is Hot Cherry, and uh, we'll tune in on the next episode.